I don't know if we're gonna find any frogs in there, huh, Cater? This frog will wanna where I found my frog. Yeah, show me. Ready. You can't keep up with me. I'm in front of you. Papa stole a rickshaw and is shuttling Cater. Just a regular Saturday, just a regular Saturday, <laughs> Saturday morning. Papa stealing a rickshaw. Saddest day of the year, take the boat out of the marina day. Not super stoked about taking the boat out, but it has been pretty cold. It's been nice this weekend, but um, yeah, there's not a whole lot of nice days coming up. Last year I waited too long, and actually last year I forgot about the boat. Uh, the trailer was here, so they like winterized it and everything for me. This year I'm doing it, it's still like 60 degrees out, so I'm gonna do that and then, yeah. Back the trailer in, then go grab the boat, put it on. Can't decide if I'm gonna take the, the boat back to the cottage, because we're staying there obviously, or if I'm going to, or if I'm just gonna put the boat in the uh, building and clean it there. Probably do that. All right, let's go get the boat. One of the reasons our trailer is like rusty because I always tow it in like November and there's already salt on the roads and stuff, which is it's like the beginning of October right now. I feel like this is a much better time. It's 60 degrees right now, so it's not that bad. It's just windy. I was actually gonna boat this weekend, but it's supposed to be windy the whole time and like there's not really a whole lot going on. It takes too long to drive it all the way to the north end when it's this rough, so I'm just gonna throw it on the trailer, put it back in the building and cry. It's actually not all that dirty. I'm just gonna leave that here for a little while. starts every time. All right, here we go. Bingo, bango. It's clean. This boat is surprisingly good condition, I feel like, for how I treat it, like when we leave it in the water all summer. You know, I wipe it down and stuff, but it's seven years old. It's a 13 uh, and it's been in the water every summer, the whole summer. But still looks pretty good. It's got its scrapes and scratches, but kind of like that because each one I did and don't really have to worry. You know, like I'm not the guy that will be like, oh my God, don't spill soda or don't spill beer on the boat. You know, I don't like Cheetos because they do stain, but All right, let's go put this thing back in the building and see how it goes. I feel like I say it every time I come here, but I am so glad we bought this place. It's like the perfect location. It's really close to our house. It's really close to the lake. Uh, it's a great size. Like I fit all these things in it. And uh, yeah, I don't know, it was not very expensive comparatively. So yes, thank you, Laura. I am glad that we bought this building. Mm, I'm not quite sure how I'm gonna do this because I have to kind of wedge it or I want to kind of wedge it in. So. Whenever I take like a sweatshirt off, I always feel like I have to do it on camera so that there's continuity or something. I don't know, I'm an idiot. I gotta open the door. The boat is right here. I need to make this so I can see that. All right. All right, here we go. didn't even use the camera because I guess you can't view like while you're recording uh, but I got it pretty good like obviously I could see that but I'm a little further away from the wall than I want to be but by and large it's pretty darn good uh, I'm gonna slide this car forward just a little bit more and then get it a little bit in. I think my dad's coming up next weekend anyways, so I should be able to get him to help me actually position because we're gonna put his boat in here too. But this is looking pretty slick.
I probably could have predicted that. The tower hit the Moomba sign and the tile fell out, but it didn't break, I don't think. Like that went way smoother than I thought it would. So boat is in here. Uh, the tongue needs to go this way. When I unhooked it from the car, all the tension on the two different axles like shot it this way a little bit. I think when my dad gets here, I'll actually have him help me move the tongue of this boat this way. We're gonna pull his boat in straight this way. So like, there's like actually quite a bit of room right here, way more than I thought. His boat should fit perfectly right here. And then I've got room for another car here if I wanted. At some point, I think I'm gonna take that car out to get the transmission stuff done, but that moving the boats is not really that big of a deal to get that car out. And I'm pretty sure I could get that car out through here under the lift. Pretty sweet. I am, oh man, every time I come here, I just, I love this place so much, it's so great.